Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed. We are on a nitrogen-generated map, which is made up almost entirely of wasteland with a small green biome somewhere that we are on the lookout for, but we have not found yet. And uh, so, in this episode, we're going to get our mini bike going. As you can see, I have now made a workbench. If you missed the last episode, um, I showed you at the very end of that episode that I uh, had earned three skill points, two of them from the Horde Knight and one prior. And so we put the points into uh, intellect that we needed uh, to put in there to get uh, Grease Monkey 2 and Advanced Engineering 2. So we have both of those. I held out as long as I could waiting for schematics, but they just weren't coming. And so we had to take matters into our own hands and learn those points. And they're not wasted points because, you know, they will uh, allow us to, to do bigger and better things later on. And then there's always in the late game... Uh, you know, Grandpa's forgetting Elixir, too, if it really came down to that. Okay, so, um, the only thing I'm missing uh, to make the mini bike is an engine. And we actually need an engine for, uh, we need an engine for the, uh, for cement mixer, too, because I want to make one of those. So, we have to go out and rent some cars. We're going to need gasoline anyway. Uh, we have a very tiny, tiny amount of gasoline, not even close to enough to what we're going to need. Now, I have looted 54 oil shale. And I'm also planning on making a chem bench, uh, but um, we'll do that in just a little while. So what we have to do is take our a trusty wrench out, and we're going to have to just go hit some cars. And hopefully, hopefully, this will be the last time that we have to do this on foot. Oh, the other thing I was going to do is I've got a little bit of gunpowder, some buckshot made up. And we also have, um, I should have, I got a bunch of lead in here, okay? So let's... Um, Let's go ahead and get some bullets made up. Um, so 63, yeah, that's pretty good for the for the gunpowder. Um, so we can make 20 more regular bullets. So let's get 20 of those cooking up. Well, actually, you know what, though? I mean, what's the max we can make? 767. All right, here's what I think I want to do with this. Let's make another say a hundred buckshot and then we'll turn the rest into bullet tips um, and the reason I have all that lead is because we found a lead deposit in our little mine uh, down below um, we'll wait for this to get to 83 and then we can actually make 83 shotgun shells and then we'll be in really good shape uh, for shotgun shells all right there we go now um, let's go ahead and we got the the chassis made we're just gonna leave that stuff in there for the moment and let's make up some shotgun shells. We are now able... Oh, I forgot. That's right. We go... It takes two... Does it take two or three? F uh, three. Okay, yeah, it takes... No, four. It takes four gunpowder to make one of these. Son of a bitch. Really? Okay. I thought... For some reason, I thought it only took two, but I guess I... Underestimated that. That's okay, though. Whatever. We'll, we'll make it work. Um, let's also have you make up a few more bullet casings with a little bit of brass that we have left in there as well. Okay, so we've got seven, about seven and a half, some, yeah, we got just about the right amount of, uh, right amount of burn time in there. Uh, I want you, let's take about, so this is our total amount of stone. I want to keep just a little bit for, um, in our inventory for, you know, throwing. So we'll keep some of that. And I want to keep about half got a little bit of sand there half of those we'll use for you know the the stone and the sand and then the rest of these we're gonna start cooking up and making our own cement oh man we are like super low on wood too so we're gonna have to chop a couple trees but I want to I want to wait until we get the mini bike going first because then you know that way we're it's gonna be so much safer for us and, you know, if we can get a little bit of gasoline, we should have a chainsaw. I thought we had a chainsaw. Didn't we have a chainsaw? Did we not loot a chainsaw? Maybe we did and I left it somewhere else. <laughs> I distinctly remember looting a chainsaw not too long ago, but I don't... I'm not seeing it. So I must have left it in some loot somewhere else and I... Gosh, I don't even remember where that would be. All right, well, we won't worry about that for now. Okay, guys, so we've got to get going here. Um, let's get this down on our toolbar here. 
And the other thing I'm on the lookout for is a nitrate deposit. Um, because we're going to need to start making a significant amount of gunpowder, which we will do once we get the chem bench going. Um, and that way we can start supplying ourselves with, you know, 7.62 ammo and that, and that sort of thing. Okay, are we ready to go? Our food and water is in really good shape right now. Uh, we got six cans of sham to take out on the road with us. And I th the most important thing we need right now is our wrench, of course, which we have right here. But we don't need to put that on our toolbar yet. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. It's almost 10.30 in the morning, so we got lots of daylight to work with. And we are looking for automobiles. We'll, maybe we'll go over there in front of the um, in front of the high school. And you know what? We might as well. I don't. I want to keep those on our toolbar in case we get into trouble. We might as well hit these little shrubs along the way. I'm not going to go way out of my way, but if we see them along the way, we'll hit those just because it does give us a little bit of wood, and we are really low on wood right now. So yeah, last night's uh, Horde Night was very successful. Uh, I was quite pleased with how everything turned out with that. Oh darn it, I was going to get some wheels making up. Uh, I, we'll have to do that later. One of the nice things about this game is that you can make everything in the workbench that you can also make in your inventory. So, you know, you can have stuff crafting while, while you're out and about. That's really useful. Okay, so we are after an engine and, of course, gasoline. We won't get an engine out of the Stage 3 car, but we'll get gasoline out of it and other stuff. Want to stay nice and quiet. The mini bike, um, we're still going to have buzzard trouble on the mini bike, but at least we're not going to have stamina trouble and we'll have more storage than we would on the bike so that's why I decided to skip the bicycle altogether and just go to the new bike we'll also get uh, radiators from these cars which is a really good uh, source of brass okay we got a battery what we're looking for is our two engines we need two engines Some mechanical parts off of this guy because our only source of or our only significant source of gasoline on this map is wrenching cars I'm gonna be raising uh, salvage operations definitely to level four and maybe even eventually to level five the pre the prereqs for that are um, you know is perception and we also will need that same perception leveled up for maximum lucky looter which I'm also going to be getting I, I might go ahead though and see the thing is is we know we already know the motorcycle chassis if we could find the motorcycle handlebar schematic we wouldn't have to to learn you know the perks for it otherwise we're going to have to spend another four points let's hit this uh, another four points and we're gonna have to spend did I get an engine I did okay we need one more though uh, let's not mess with this stuff right now we can scrap that and get rid of that I'm gonna start keeping the plastic though because we're gonna start needing it for stuff I'm wrenching all cars even though we're after an engine specifically because again gasoline So this is also a stage three, so it's not going to give us an engine, but it'll give us other stuff. Can't remember what I was talking about. <laughs> Lost my train of thought. It happens to me all the time. It happens when you get old. Okay, oil is good. Okay, come on. We need one more engine so we can make our cement mixer, and then we're good for now. Then we'll go back, make the mini bike, 
and uh, then we'll go out on the mini bike and continue arranging cars so we can get a good supply of gasoline going. But I want the cement mixer made too, so that way it could be making you know concrete for us while we're out and about. Um, all right, so still only one engine. I mean, I suppose we could go back now and make the mini bike, and then. We're going to get another engine when we go out and again, uh, out and about again. So yeah, let's just do that. That's the safer option. And I have no problem taking the safer option. On these settings, in this bio. <laughs> we could hit this wrench, though. Get another brass radiator. What did I did I just say hit this wrench? I think I did. I meant air conditioner. Can't take me anywhere. Oh my god. Stamina, baby, stamina. Is there an AC over here too? I don't think that propane tank is worth anything. Oh hey, let's go back through our mine. I'll show you the show you what we've done on the mine. Store. Yeah, that's locked. Here we go. I did, like I said, I did make a, a pathway to, underground pathway to this house to get to the Kim bench, but we're not going to need it now, so we'll make our own. Place doesn't have ray pops. Wrench a few other things while we're here. Why not? That's not wrenchable. We haven't found the perk that gives us brass from sinks yet, but hopefully we'll come across it. Or not perk, but magazine. I'm getting sidetracked here, huh? We're supposed to be going back to make a mini bike. <laughs> okay. I'll stop after the dryer so we can go. Unless we find another AC unit. Find another AC unit. I'm grabbing that. Okay, yeah. So this is, um, you know, this is the cam bench that we had. I could wrench it, but let's not wrench it until we actually have a cam bench of our own. In actuality. Okay, so here's our little mine here. Whoa! Oh, God, that was lucky. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to uh, make sure that doesn't happen next time, huh? We don't have to fill this all the way up, but we don't want it to be... I could have very easily broken my leg there. I'm quite fortunate that we didn't. Anyway, yeah, so I, I, I came all the way through here. Uh, all this gravel that you see here is iron and lead so we got lots of iron and lead down here uh mined all this up um the night before horde night got some good xp got some good resources um so yeah that's our mine and then this goes up to underneath the prison <laughs> grab all of those we go and we're back inside our prison all right let's make ourselves a mini bike you guys let's make ourselves a mini bike this is going to change the game for us whoa oh i know i know what i was talking about before i was talking about how the mini bike um is not it's still i mean buzzards are still gonna be a problem right but is that what I was talking about? <laughs> I don't really know. Uh, buzzards are still going to be a problem on the mini bike because they can still at least keep up with you. But here again, we don't have to worry about running out of stamina. So if we can get ahead of them a little bit, we can quickly hop off 
uh, you know, sledgehammer them or shoot them with a shotgun. Probably the latter since we have more shotgun shells now. And then, uh, you know, just get back on the bike and move on without having to worry about you know, running out of stamina. The bicycle would make that much more difficult. Uh, all right, so I think we have everything we need to make to assemble. No, we have. We need the wheels. That's right, we need the wheels. Okay, so what do we need for those again? Um, forged iron, polys, oil, coal, and acid. Let's put a few things away here. We need the battery and that stuff. I think we need one mechanical... Wait, what? Hold on. Mini bike. No, I'm thinking of the bicycle, so we don't need mechanical parts. So those can be put away. Leather can be put away. We are going to need the plastic for... Uh, the two wheels. Let's put these two radiators in here. Get those smelted. I sort of kind of have a method to my madness here with the organization, but <laughs> it's very loose. Basically, this crate here has medical food and parts. This crate has tools, weapons, resources. Yeah, that sort of thing. It's, it's very loose. Okay, anyway, um, what do we need? We need coal and we need uh, acid. Acid, acid, acid. So we're going to need two of those. And I think I have coal in here. Yes, I do. Okay. So let's make one wheel in... Oh, what are we missing? We're still missing... Two oils. Oh, forged iron. Forged iron. That's what we're missing. Okay. Now we should be able to do this. We'll make one wheel in here and one in our own inventory. Just to speed things up. Okay. So when those wheels are done, we will be able to make the mini bike. Let's put all that stuff back in there. need to keep the engine in our inventory and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out and we're going to um, wrench a bunch of cars so we can get a bunch of gasoline and in the process we'll get some other cool stuff too let's also get working on shotgun shells all right what are we short on paper we need paper grab all the gunpowder that we have let's get get that gasoline too We got buckshot. We got gunpowder. Wait, what? Why am I having such a senior moment? Didn't we have... Oh, we already made the shotgun shells. Ah, jeez. Okay. I know, I know, I know. I'm scatterbrained today. I'm sorry. It's just the way it is. We can make three nine millimeters. <laughs> Let's make three nine millimeters. Because why the hell not, right? Those three shots could save our life. Okay. Put those in there. Grab the wheels. And we should have two wheels. Now can we make the mini bike? Yes, we can. Voila. Look at that. All right, in one minute and ten seconds, we will have ourselves a mini bike and enough gas to get started. And we're going to go have a wrench fest. We're going to wrench the shit out of all the cars that we can. And hopefully get a big old stack of gasoline in the process. And some other good stuff, too. Okay, let's take a pill. And let's eat a chamois sandwich. I want to save these. I want to conserve those as much as possible. And, and we only have one bacon and eggs left, too. So, 54 meat. We're, we're okay on food. We're not, we certainly do not have an abundance of it, but we're okay on it. Got six repair kits, so we're good to go on those for now. 
Oh, I, I know what. Uh, let's see. What do we need for a burning barrel? Three forged iron. And then you make three cooking pots. And we're going to make our Kim bench, too. Oh, I guess we have a cooking pot there, but that's great. So we're going to need pipes. We're going to need wood. I hope we have enough wood. Uh, one beaker. So we got that covered. That's always the hardest part for, of a chemistry bench. Uh, three cooking pots. 40 wood. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, we're going to... The first thing we're going to do, guys, is we're going to stop off at a couple trees. <laughs> uh, we're going to stop off at a couple trees. Chemistry station. One beaker. One burning barrel. Craft Ola. Look at that. We got a mini bike. And when we come back, we'll have a chem station. So we have all of the working stations. No, we still need the cement mixer, but we'll, we, are, we will definitely pick up an engine or ten with all the wrenching that I am planning on doing. Okay, are we ready to go? Let's drink. Our food's topped off, so we're good on food. Put that in there. I was going to make some red tea with this chrysanthemum, but I'm, I'm actually going to hang on to those so I can actually make seeds out of them when we get to the point in time where we're ready to start a garden. Okay, guys, I think we're ready to go. I think we're ready to go. So, um, we're going to go cut some trees and go rinse some cars. Let's do this.
like a hell cut.
Alright guys, uh, so what I'm going to do, it's uh, almost night time, so I'm going to head on back uh, to the base, uh, we got um, we got a, a decent amount of stuff, uh, we got almost 4,000 gasoline, which is a nice start, and um, you know, a bunch of other parts, got a little bit of steel from those two transformers, and uh, we loaded up our mini bike here, so we got a lot of good stuff in here too, including two engines, which were uh, kind of, was kind of the second secondary thing that we were after. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend the night... Um, back at the uh, back at the uh, the prison and I'm um, just gonna make up a bunch of concrete and you know craft stuff do whatever it is uh, we need to do uh, we have the Kim bench too uh, you know what I really need to do those I need to find a, a nitrate deposit uh, we got a, a fair amount of coal from you know the burnt trees that we cut down and, uh, you know, that's not, it's not a huge amount, but it's, you know, it is a source of coal in the wasteland and a relatively easy one uh, to get to. So 
Um, you know, I, I'm going to start making as much gunpowder as I can. And oh, I guess there's not a road going through. What the hell? Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, so just work on stuff at night. And then um, what I might actually end up doing tomorrow... Uh, you know, during the, the in-game day tomorrow, so I might just keep doing this. And I probably won't show it on camera because I'm just going to wrench cars, cut down trees, loot stuff, but, uh, you know, I won't do anything real crazy. And, you know, just really kind of get those supplies built up. And then uh, when I bring you back in the next episode, we will go from there. I'm, you know, we might be ready to move on at that point. Not really sure. Haven't decided for sure yet. I'm just being real careful that I don't run over any landmines here. <laughs> um, but we'll see where we're at. Where we're at, and then. Uh, but I, I don't think we're going to be sticking around in this particular town too terribly much longer. Uh, we're going to be hitting the road here fairly soon. The other thing I'm thinking about maybe doing too. Are we safe here for the sec for the moment? Okay. The other thing I'm thinking about doing is actually going back to these other two locations because we have you know we basically have roadway the whole way um and picking up the stuff that i you know that i left at, at these two locations too because i'm almost positive we got a chainsaw at one point and i wouldn't mind having that for getting wood now that we have gasoline you know then we could get a lot more wood a lot more quickly um so i'm thinking about going back to to this spot and then back to our original location actually which was here and just you know, picking up all of the stuff. We might even go see if we can do that buried treasure, too. Though somebody was saying that the buried treasures are kind of glitched uh, when the nitrogen map, so I don't know. And I suppose that could be kind of a fun episode uh, to do. So I might show that part on camera, you know, going back to the old locations and maybe, you know, making getting that uh, buried treasure our main goal. So that's probably quite possibly what we'll do in the next episode, we'll, but we'll take it from there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.